Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran addresses the believers. Yeah, and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the believers, He says to the believers, He's He's advising the believers, and He's telling the believers first and foremost to have taqwa. And when He said first He says ittaqullah. And after saying this advice, he says, let every person know what they put forth for tomorrow. So what Allah here is telling us to do is to make sure that we're not just planning for what we're going to do tonight or what we're going to do tomorrow in 24 hours. But he's reminding us to be conscious of what we're planning for the tomorrow capital T. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a trust. Allah in fact has given us many trusts. And one of the most precious of them is our children. Allah will ask us what we did to give our children their right of an Islamic education. It's not just something optional. It's something that is fard. It is, it is obligatory upon us to give that to our children. And if we don't, if we fall short for whatever reason, for whatever illusions we are chasing, we will be asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will be asked why we did not give them that education and that environment that was their right. It, it's a right upon them, upon us, right? That, that it is actually an obligation rather upon us and it is their right.